me miner here. I am at an old abandoned silver mine doing some boondocking, boondoggling, boondocking. Not quite sure what it's called, <laughs> but I by myself with my dog just off the grid doing some camping. Maybe you can tell me what that real term is. I thought I would show you my teardrop trailer. I call it a bed on wheels. It's all I need, easy to tow. I think it's 1,200 pounds. Seven way connector, including 12 volt power, all the running lights and the possibility for brakes. But a 1,200 pound trailer, you do not need brakes on it. AC to DC inverter. This is worth getting. Anytime you see a fridge that's been thrown away on the side of the road, grab a rack or two. They're great for it as grills. I just use a little butane stove. The other good thing to have is some mats. If you're in a sandy or rocky area, it keeps them out of your trailer as you move in and out. Got a storage lock box in the front. It's actually one of the handier features. Easy access and it's secure. There is room for an extra battery. There's another one underneath. It charges from the truck or if you're in a place where there's electricity, it'll charge from there. One thing, you have to remember to close the roof vent before taking it on the highway. If it's left up, there's a real good chance it won't be there when you get back from the winds. No airco, but we do have a fan. Which is nice and quiet. Works off the battery or electricity. We have a light, which is nice. Fire alarm. Storage in the back, a little shelf. Of course, there's two doors. More storage, shelf, fire extinguisher, privacy curtains, and that's my bed on wheels. King size bed. With my gear all spread out in here. But that's okay, it's just me and the dog today. As far as maintenance, it doesn't hurt to grease under here, so this works smoothly. If you drive it in the winter, like I do, and there was salt on the roads, it doesn't hurt to wash it. Remove the salt before you get rust on the steel. The hubs should be greased at least annually, and then check your tire pressure. And of course, look at your lights and make sure they're all functioning correctly. And that's it. Good to go. What some people don't like about a trailer like this is it's missing a washroom, a shower, a full kitchen. If that's the sort of thing that you think you need, this isn't a device for you. The other thing I'm not crazy about is where this sits on a very short tongue the tailgate can't get down fully see that the solution of course if this wasn't rusted in is to get an extension my pup and i are eager to take on the day so we'll unhook the trailer be on our way it's a good day to be in a trailer. It's starting to rain. The dog and I will stay happy and dry. Well, bye for now. See you on the upside. All right, Daisy. Let's go exploring. Come on. Good girl. Up you go. Good dog. <laughs>